Good evening, YouTube. How is here? Uh, we're in the Fiero tonight, and I wanted to show you guys this cool thing that I found. Um, and I'll do screenshots of this if the video doesn't show it well. Um, it's a cool tool that I uh, purchased from Paul Romsky, and his information will be down below. Um, and Paul, if you uh, if you see this, thank you again. And I hope that you figure out how you're going to be making more of these for other people in the future because this is incredible. Um, so Paul sells or sold. I know he's going through some things right now, so I don't know if he's still available, but you guys should give him a like and check out his stuff and try to get him to actually uh, make it, make some more of them, help him out. Um, an ALDL to USB connector with a bunch of different things in here and using a, an Adafruit Trinket MO or M0. And what it does is it records everything that's going on with your Fiero and so much more. Um, I can't go into all of it because I haven't even played with all of it. But this helped me find out a few things that were wrong with my car um, and has been detrimental to working on this vehicle because there is no OBD2 for this vehicle. So it's hard to figure all this stuff out. And Paul's found a really nice way to capture everything. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to show you guys the basics of what's going on with the car and what this thing's showing. So this is the main screen that you set up. You set it into the right mode. You make sure it's connected. Um, and I'll go into depth more if you guys are interested in this. But for now, this video, we're just going to do a quick record of what's going to happen as Heather and I drive to go we gotta get coffee because I'm out of coffee at home and um, it's right up the road and we just got fuel so yeah so we're gonna record we're gonna name it something and we'll just call this let's call it YT for YouTube and it's gonna start recording everything that the car outputs so right now it's like nope nothing's going on start it up oil pressure jumped up matches almost what's in the car. You know, there's two different sensors for your oil pressure, um, your coolant, and a couple other things in the car because one's the reading for up front, one's the reading that goes to the computer. This is showing the computer readings. So even if you're, um, you're, you're saying you got 60 PSI up here for your oil and this reads 40, it's actually 40 and you might want to check your gauges. I know my coolant temperature gauge uh, is a little off up front compared to out back and a gentleman that I bought the car from told me he changed that out so it would look cooler. I don't know why. Um, I don't think he realized there's two sensors. But here we are. Um, so this will keep recording. I'll do some screens between this and the and me actually driving the car and we'll be able to see what's going on in the car as we go. So Heather, if you'd be so kind to hold this while I drive, because I can't be driving with a tablet in my hands. And we're gonna head right up to uh, buy coffee.
Oh, that don't I'm look. glad you got that on camera. <laughs> uh, like the van didn't really need to stop. They could have just kept going, but here we are. Oh, I guess I could have went too, but I didn't know the fuel were turning. Can you guys stop so I can think. Oh, well, almost had one for, uh, what was that, Mega School Driving, whatever, the one, the webcam, or the dash cam channel I watch once in a while. So, yeah, that just recorded a, almost a mile, um, still technically recording, but not, um, and you can use that to record, I forget how many frames, and there's graphs, there's all these other things that you can do with it, um, that'll show how your car performed during that whole time, and, and Paul's done a really good job of capturing so much data that I love it and also get confused and I'm a person who loves data it's like he's got so much information on here that I haven't even started to play with yet um, zero knocks reported on my my car even though I don't think the um, car has a knock sensor so fuel to air ratios it looks good that's good I've never played with this one I like when fuel to air ratios look good um, status flag. Some of these are very important to the running of the vehicle. Some are bad flags. I don't know the difference. The car's off right now, so it's going to give me some weird ones. This one won't pop up for whatever reason. Error codes. Oh, there it goes. Error codes have to be done in a different thing. You can do all your um, your flashing error codes on the car. It'll actually show up on here. Um, and some of the stuff is simulated. Like, I think the fuel tank's simulated. It doesn't actually like have a reading on here it's just a simulated number but it looks just like the Fiero layout which is nice no activities defect oh yeah no activities detected because it's off right so that's um that's a quick look at it um paul's got a video on his his channel that is just it's got a lot more information he explains it probably a lot better than i do uh, but if you guys if you guys really like this, if this is something to be helpful for you and your your Fiero, let me know. I'll let him know because I talk to him via phone calls and emails as well, and I'll I'll keep pressuring him to um, to start making these for everyone who wants one. Maybe if we get enough people interested, he'll do it um, because this has been incredible for me, and I think it'd be great for you. Anyways, I've been Zan. That's enough of me talking today. You guys ride safe, drive safe. Don't uh, pull corners in front of minivans and almost die. And until the next one, Fiero out.